I am distracted by a million things this game has to offer. It changed so much over the years, making me a very happy old woman. Well, sorry about the voice, I just woke up. So, yeah, I wanted to jump right in. There are things I've discovered while I was away. I played a little bit in my free time, and I've discovered there is cooking in the game. There's fucking cooking in the game. This machine right here, this magical thing, right over here. I just made processed sugar out of uh, cacti. I am, I'm not even kidding. I'll show you. I have frozen tubers. No idea what they are turning into. Steam vegetables. Okay. What else do I have? I have processed meat I made. Frost crystals. Can we turn poop into... Why can we turn poop into wild yeast? This is manure, guys. This is what comes out of the butt of animals. And we can turn yeast out of it. I just love the things that jump, the vegetables that jump into the frying pan. This is amazing. So, Mr. Chubbs, who's at the, uh, who's at the um, anomaly and asks to eat food, is not actually kidding. He's expecting of you to whip up a meal and present it to him. So, I, I don't know what to make just yet. I'm experimenting with different things. I'm making different types of foods. I mean, so far I'm just processing uh, the, the foods I am given. I don't know combinations yet, but uh, I'm planning on making more as we go. All right. Do I have more food stuff in here? Are we ready? Oh, feline liver. Put it over there. Any more food? I will fill my inventory with food stuff. I'm just warning you. I'm telling you now. Vegetables! Not vegetables, I mean plants! And foods. This is my beautiful nip nip buds. They're growing nicely. And those are the frost wa Oh! These are ready to harvest. Beauteous! I have them ready for you. You have mastered the frostwort. Your base is already feeling more homely, yes? Yes. That's the way it shimmers in the light not enchant you, friend. I have lost hours to its gentle glisten, but now a plant of great contrast. Solar vines. I can already build those. Your next crop will be solar vine, a plant that grows deep within the mantle of scorched worms. It seeks out all heat from the sun or the core below. Its roots can extend to such incredible lengths that once it was believed they never ended. But do not worry, friend. Here with our facilities, their growth shall be more manageable. Navigator Desmalau wishes me to cultivate solar vine, a plant that usually grows only in extreme heat. If only I shone as brightly as the solar vine. I envy you the joy of discovery, friend. Do I have to harvest them to bring them to you, or can I just pick them up? Oh no, I already have solar vines. They're growing up back here. Well, I guess we'll have to wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, the yeast is almost ready. Let's get those from our standing planters. Oh my god, the crops, the crops, people! It's been a glorious day. I believe we can sell those, but I will keep some in my inventory for later. I need to sneeze really bad. What do I have in here? Oh. Goop, yeah. Nothing surprising. So what do we do today? These are did by accident. 
This guy, what do you want from me? You may leave, but do not be deceived. We are all prisoners, even you! If you abandon me, you'll find another Jack with a different face, but the same soul, the same words. We appear to you throughout time and memory, your servants, your teachers. Warkek or Ruska suggest that if I were to dismiss them from my service, I would find another just like them, as if nothing at all had happened. They claim I am a prisoner. I know only that I must trust the Overseer, I know it is in my heart. I am sorry. Do not apologize, friends. You did not choose this any more than we did. What does the Overseer want from me? Oh, he wants a gravity no ball. Bring the mine arc to Artemis! Yes! Okay. This is the next step. I almost forgot. Uh, do we need to teleport? Space stations. Uh, water planet detected? No, I think it's here. So where my quest? Where is it? It's off the station, obviously. Well, since the game is forcing me into derelict phrases, I believe we should do a couple of those, yes? Meaning we will have to pay five million to the uh, junk guy, but... I've been looking forward to that expedition. I've never done one before, not even solo. Not even off camera. So I'm really pumped <laughs> that I'm going to share the experience with every single one of you. Even though I think this is um, purely a, a multiplayer experience. But we will see. So far, I will confirm that the game is fully playable, solo, you do not need friends, you do not need assistance, you do not need anybody to complete anything in the game. And the accessibility menu is so vast, you can even adjust the difficulty level of the game. I was looking at it just yesterday, I was amazed by how many accessibility options they added just for everybody's convenience. Holo terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communications across long distances. Tune to Artemis. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury, some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes, but it is not to be. One moment I see their hologram, and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over, their signal still active. Why did we do that? Why did we collect the mind arc? If it was not to work... Wh what? What just... Oh god, I'm inside of you! Travelers are a dream. An idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo too. Though they would conceal it. 
Even I had this dream. Long ago. We are countless, my friend. Walking these worlds. Yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone. Not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself. Hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass, or the ears, or the progenitors. It is that the final act, the decision to abandon those who need you, it is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Bring Artemis to Nada? I just realized we're on this uh, endless light planet with the weird bowl creatures. Man, this place by night is insane! Extra goop for my troubles. Hello? No, oh, it's abandoned. Alright, back to the anomaly. And then we will try the freighters. So Artemis is dead. And there's nothing we can do about it. Eh, uh, why... But l let me summon the anomaly, hello? Hello? Space is very noisy tonight! Oh my god, guys, I want to show you a ship I found. I mean, I didn't find it, I practically bought it. It's a mess class, but it looks freaking amazing. I will show it to you later. Let's go deliver Arda, Mr. Nada. Oh my god, the music! Friend Entity, Polo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete, not fading. Not as visor light flares, burning with concern and distress. Reassure them. I tell Nada that I am well. My condition has not changed since I emerged from the portal. Nada relaxes. But a question still hangs in the air. I tell them about Artemis, about Null, and about the Mind Ark. The vessel glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I... I never thought to see a traveler so... You are so beautiful. But friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. This Ark... Is no rescue. Ask why. Artemis Echo will never have body again. Will never explore again. Old life gone. But we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine. It is something living. A refuge. There is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine. To sub-simulation where they may live on, or 
help Artemis echo and suffering. Ask about the simulation. I ask what life would be like inside of this simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced, but if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends, such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose. Upload them to machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis echo and suffering. Ask if there is another way. Nada shakes their heads strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated, if disconcerting. You must choose. Go and speak with Polo, Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines, no matter what your decision. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are Traveler friends. Do we really want to upload them on a simulation? Live in a lie? Is that the way to go? Now that told me what you need to do. Just no friend that we support you no matter the choice. I will prepare the machines. It is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Oh, that's what... Oh, I see. This is what we do with this room then. Is that the one? Yeah. What should we do? The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, Nada's faint hum over the speaker. As they commune with the machine, the words on panel unscramble themselves. Nada entity authorization detected. Secondary simulation 5. Rights enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Corvex to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so dear to Nada, it will act as a home for Artemis, so they wish it. I feel like we are ourselves in the simulation that keeps us happy. Exploring, making friends, creating things, discovering. And now I get to choose that somebody else lives in a, in a simulation, similar to the simulation we live in. Do I want that for them? Let them die happy? Or let them die miserable in case they found out they are in a simulation? This is a really hard choice, man. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to upload Artemis. I upload Artemis to the simulation. A spark of blue light blazing through the air before me. It fades after a moment, disappearing into the depths of the machine. Nada tells me what it is done. For my sake, they will permit transmissions to and from the simulation. At least while the anomaly passes through save systems. They warn me that Artemis will need some time to grow adjusted to their new life.
Meaning I cannot talk to them right now. I attempt to send a message into the simulation. It does not work. I do not know what I expected. How can a whole universe listen? Man, there is something so creepy about this. Knowing that we are doing to them what is being done to us to keep us alive. I think this is the nature of No Man's Sky, being a simulation, and now I am making the same choice, and I, I don't know, part of me doesn't feel this is right. Artemis Echo will live on. Traveler took them from corruption and restored them to a life of exploration, to see a solar system that none but Corvex have ever witnessed. You have done well, Traveler. Have I, though? Have I? It somewhat feels unethical. It kind of does. Before we make this goop, let's make the other goop and then merge the goops together and make the ultra goop of money and happiness. Alright boys, this is the time we've all been waiting for. It is time to pay five million. And hopefully we will make more than five million in return. I have a lot of garbage in my inventory. I will put some in my ship. I do not need more dites. I will keep the goop though. How much I got? I think I have enough space for exploration, right? That should be enough. <coughs> Last time I said I will try and make sure this ship can jump. Because the, the controls are foreign to me. It's a sentinel ship after all. I never tried. I kept working. Apollo, hello! Are you receiving? The holo terminus is showing. Available again. Your signal was. Thought you were gone. It is a relief to hear Apollo again. Feels like we have not spoken in a long time. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best I can. The gateway, the strange planet, a vast machine, a crimson orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable. That I cannot form them in my mind. It's just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the Atlas itself. You saw it? You met the Atlas? The Gek, the Corvax, they worship it as a god. I never thought it was real, never thought... Are you alright? I can't imagine what you've gone through. Say it was not a god. I tell Apollo of the things that Atlas said. How it spoke of travelers and sentinels as if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me, I felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you. And I think, uh, I think there's something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Say there are more important things. I suggest we have bigger things to worry about. The Atlas feel hostile, inexplicable in its motives and purpose, not to mention all that has happened since. I tell Apollo of Artemis' grave and my encounter with the mysterious traveler, Null. I suggest there is more going on here than an opportunity to earn units. 
Artemis is dead? I... I don't... How? Who would... I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared, they believed, and I... What's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. Tell them of your choice. I tell Apollo that Null gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explain the nature of what I did. I tell them that Artemis' soul lives on only within a simulation, unable to go beyond. Ask if this was right. It is a long time before Apollo speaks again. Will they be... happy? Say you hope so. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of ours. Find a monolith. Search for patterns in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. No, but first I gotta make myself rich! Ugh, off to the station we go! I will make myself extremely poor before I make myself extremely rich. Five million is a lot of freaking money. You gotta spend some to make some, isn't that right? Oh hey, my capital ship is here? Weren't my boys on an expedition? Alright guys, this is it. Derelict freighters, here we come. How much money do I have? 41 million! Because I bought that new ship. But guys, I promise you, honestly, it was so worth it. Trust me, it was so, so worth it. The Viking awaits my decision. It has been done. Wait, that's not my- what the hell? <laughs> this is where I parked. <laughs> Oh my god, I got goosebumps. Game not saved, the board derelicts. Oh, fuck you! That sucks. What if the game crashes? Oh my god, it's extremely cold. Let's get inside. Ooh, that was funky. Destination terminals available. Network reactivation required. 
Emma's Imuraga, 17 status. Severe incident, total lockdown, access denied. No crew life signs detected. Crew manifest and captain's log may assist incident diagnosis. Cargo integrity, 95%. Salvage and recovery, likely. Access doors have been automatically sealed and internal systems disabled. Manual restart required to begin recovery. Warning. Gravity calibration error. Freedom of movement reduced. Internal environmental protection is offline. Attempt manual generator restart. Restart error. Unable to restore primary heat control. Protection against extreme cold temperatures required. Emergency fabrication unit available. Access supply cache. And seal door one active receiver. What did we just do? Who are you? Who are you? Give me! Oh my god, I am so slow! The gravity in here is wild! Derelict- hold on. I need to read this. Don't take it away from me. Derelict freighters are, der are dangerous environments full of environmental hazards and hostile entities. Locate valuable salvage as well as special items that can be exchanged aboard a space station. <laughs> Collect data from terminals to learn the fate of the crew. You got it. Let's go. It said dangerous entities. <gasps> Living slime. Ship AI log decrypted. Location tracking report for technician mowing combat team. Personal bioscan last detected three days ago in wet storage. 30 others present. Biometric readout indicates entity deoxygenated. No further life signs. Units received. Guys, I think I'm gonna do this in first person because it's really hard to see in third person. It's. Yeah, I wanna be able to see everything there is to see. Oh! We turned this on and we're not cold anymore? Is there a map of this place? Oh, I don't know how I doubt it. There's so many boxes! Carton of parched herbs. There's a layer of fine medicinal looking mold growing on the top of this sample. Nothing could go possibly wrong from testing it. I am putting it in my mouth! We gotta test it. Partial cargo manifest follows. Geknip 595. Barrels of gene plasma missing. We gotta find it! Wait, can I take these boots? Someone left their boots behind! Dude, this place is a gold mine. Whoops! Are these lootable? I don't think so. Just the blue ones? Alright, we got those, we got those, we got those. We can play with the chair! <laughs> oh, heating units are such a nice touch! Making sure I took all the things. Turn all the heating units. Oh my, oh what the fuck. I don't know what these things are, but they have to die. Oh my god, babies!
That's a lot of living slime! Are they all dead? Oh no! Oh, they're on the walls! It's hitting my face! Ah! This is disgusting! The fact that we're moving extremely slow doesn't help! I gotta recharge my things. Ow! I didn't bring iron batteries! I'm an idiot! Idiot! I'm such an idiot! Is something attacking me right now? I can hear you, you little shit! Where are you? The next trial from medical base law of a partial report follows. Uh, get that Leah Kittering presented with dramatic tooth loss. Outbreak continues to progress to progress through crew. 70% cases. They were losing their teeth? Oh my god, that's dark. That's extremely dark. Oh, I see you. I see you now. Come here. Ooh, garbage gremlins. We've read this. Go away! Ow! Ow! Is something happening behind me? No, I'm just cold. There is so much slime on the walls! Are they gone? Just checking! Ech. Personal data recording access by technician Yin, General Hand. Auto transcribing audio. Engineering are calling. It's all in my head. It must be. It wasn't in their head. I do not need oxygen. I have enough oxygen, thank you very much. No, I'm trying to open the box right next to the log. Get out of here. That's what I'm trying to open here, this one. Teleport coordinators, hello. Viking FGs. Is there a leg warmer in here? Oh my god, the goop! The little creatures! There's more. I'm coming in! Ugh, ugh. <laughs> Leg warmer? Free slime for the whole family.
Guys, I do not see a heater. Should I be worried? I am worried. What about the log? Ship AI log decrypted. Location tracking report from guard in. Hostile intelligence detection. Personal bioscan last detected five days ago in the officer's mess. 14 others present. Biometric readout indicates aberrant internal configuration. No further life signs. Oh! Ho ho ho! Ah, that's somebody's head. Do not touch it. the infestation I mean I'm working on it I'm trying to put them back to sleep all of them Jesus Lord they're in the walls they're in my mouth they're in my face stop it stop it I have trouble seeing you in the darkness Stop moving so much, you little shits. Come here. Come here, you. Dude, so much slime. High five? Okay, no high five. There is still a little garbage gremlin from the ceiling. Where you at? I can hear you. There is more than just one. getting very very cold now I am being protected zones mapped 6 out of 10 oh I completely forgot about those we have another log monitoring and maintenance log access event record follows date stamp 3262 overpowering stench in cargo hold 5 outcome deployed backup Date stamp 3,285. Pressure alert in operations center. Outcome. AI core notified. Date stamp 3,280. Exponential mold growth in sleeping unit 9. Outcome. Pressure compartment vented into space. With the people or without the people? Oh man. But the rest of them, oh my god, that's a lot of- 22 minutes of processing the mold? And there is more coming your way! Partial crew equipment records follows. Name, recruit O'Keefe. Specialism, engineering. Personal locker contains ship eye logs, navigation charts, DNA sample, own, and assorted intimate recordings. Porn. Last access seven days ago. Detailed scan reveals a rhythmic tapping in emanating from the locker. That is so creepy. There better not be a body in there. If that's what you were insinu- well, uh, that's what you were insinuating, but not while I'm scavenging, that'd be preferable, thank you. Oh, 
Okay, let's keep moving. Reactivate teleport terminal? Records terminal accessed. Searching. Mission destination. Encrypted. Security override history. Encrypted. Crew manifest accessible. Crew status as of last ship wide bioscan eight days ago. Commanding officer acting captain Yar. Duty officers Lieutenant Yiroon. AI control officer El Halzili. Second lieutenant Aiki Hai. Crew status report. Crew professional time 60. Crew conscripted times 90. Okay, those are just names, right? Scanning ship for biological traces. No detected biological trace matches crew records. Retrieving less known crew positions. Acting Captain Yar, redacted area. Okay, two days ago, five days ago, there is still hope. where we came from break the goop loot this and let's go the music is a plus plus in here I really like it decrypted user data Did we get everything in here? No! The lockers, of course! I am freezing so much. Heater! Hello, Heater! There's gotta be a heater in here, dude. For sure. Gremlins! Ah! What? Where? Hey! Right in your butt! This is so gross! Is this a heater? Oh, 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 oh. oh, I gotta recharge this bad boy. So much better. I already forgot where I came from though. Another hitting unit! Lovely. Is this where we came from? Is it? Yeah. The lockers. Right, right, right. Secure mainframe detected. Alright, we're uh we're heading there. There's another hitting unit. What is this? A doorway? Hitting unit perfect. I'm not being attacked right now, am I? We, we killed all the little things. Ship AI logging fragments. AI internal memory encrypted. Decrypting. Output follows. Automated reporting for recruit Ogu. Biosecurity. Internal body temperature exceptional. Perception levels exceptional. Sympathy to other life forms exceptional? Conclusion. Scan detected. Remove a log. He was an exceptional human being. I don't know what's the problem with that. Why are you making such a big fuss out of it? I wish I was an exceptional human being. Private mainframe access denied. 
Captain's DNA required to access personal log. Chipoid bioscans indicate severe incident status. Override available. Indicate Captain's fate to begin. Input accepted. Log will record Captain's fate as extinguished. Duty officer may take command. Authenticate as duty officer to continue. Security credentials required. Credentials accepted. Welcome, Lieutenant Irun. Log will record as temporary commander. Last significant entry from acting captain, Yar, follows. Date stamp 1905.3. We have been marooned on this forsaken world for days past counting. All repairs fail. Still, our vessel does not take to the stars. Date stamp 1971.4. If this fails, it will use the last of our power. And what then but endless harvest across the dunes? Endless battle with vermin. While the old war goes unfought, our enemies unpunished. Date stamp 1958.7. There is a transmission far across this world. We seek its plunder. We seek hope. Date stamp 1942.9. Our ears did not hear. Our eyes did not see. It is a Viking cry. It is our people. Salvation awaits. I don't want to reactivate the, the, the terminal thing. It's it. What does it do, actually? Okay, uh, I guess that brings us to the airlock. Cool! Alright, let's start uh, looting things and stuff. Plenty of goop to go around. Tainted metal! We found tainted metal! What is this? What is this room? Okay. No more bubbly noises. The hitters are on through here. Okay, here we go. Oh! Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't think I made anything so far that goes over five million. But the thrill of the hunt, well, that, no one can take from me. That's a lot of tinted metal. Some nanites. Thought I would find another door in here. Richard's log entry follows. Maintenance crew found toxic sample in the cargo bay. Performed gravity analysis. Observation. Sample unresponsive. Engineering control panel accessed. Generator failure detected. Fabricator on emergency power. Construct component. Extract nanites! Nanite fabrication initiated. 
Phone charging complete. Swarm agency neutralization complete. Nanite phone ready for extraction. Only 500? All significant solvents retrieved. Use the derelict teleport network to exit quickly. Wait, no, no, no. That's it? What about the rest of the loot? I'm sure there's more to it. The fact that it makes me move slower than usual makes it so much harder. Ah! Okay, it wasn't that scary. I mean, the gremlins were gremlin, but... Oh god, I'm freezing. Uh... Teleport? Yeah, teleport. I missed a room. Yeah. I gotta remind myself that my progress is not being saved while being here, so, uh... We better bail before we lose all the loot. Okay. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, starship. Anything else we can loot up here? No? Okay. Find the buyer for the salvage. I know exactly where to go. Um... No, 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 I don't, I don't want to go there. I want to go to the space station. Wait, offload the crew manifest. Find interested buyers on the space station. Yes, I, that's what I'm doing. Well, that was fun. I liked it. I'm gonna do another one. Well, not now, but I am definitely gonna do another one. See what we got. Mm, boop, beep, 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 beep. Uh, yes, the ion batteries are on my other ship, not this one. I forgot. Mm. I don't want to keep anything on. I just realized this one is a C, but it's fucking incredible. All right, quick transfer. Uh, I don't think we can open any of these things. We have some tainted metal. We have the crew. 904 units for this. <laughs> yes. Buy it off of me, please. Hold on. Switch back to third person. Interloper! Rawr! You wish to profit from your adventure! Good! I have much tainted metal. Let us make an exchange. Oh! What coward of a captain dies before their ship is destroyed? Rawr! Worthless words. But perhaps some value might be extracted. Alright, take it. He's paying me in tainted metal. Acquire coordinates 10 million? My dude, hold on. Uh, uh, what do I want to buy? Movement module? <gasps> He's got some cool bean down here. What is this? Slow pulsing, this puddle of living slime smells sweeter than would be imagined. For 500. What is this? A suspicious packet? Mm. Oh my god, this is cursed. <gasps> Wriggling companion? I want it. What else do you have? Mm. 
I want to see it. I want to have a closer look at it before I purchase. Organic decoration. Collectible received. Um, give me uh, arms, tech, or goods. Tech, please. Products received. Products received. Can I sell you anything? A mm. hey, walk your brain. Carton of parts, herbs costs for one million. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Suspicious hazard protection. I'll put it down here. What does it do? Radiation resistances. <gasps> Toxic heat and cold. Noise. Oh, excuse me. Didn't we get another package from him? Created user data. Did I? Oh, I think that was the one I. Yeah, we opened it. I'm out of charges. Recharges. Put. put Put some extra slime in there. That's a lot of freaking slime, dude. My goodness. 34 minutes! How do I use my things? I wanna see my... I cannot use it in here. I'm going back home to, to see my, my friend. Wait a minute. Is it a pet I can summon or... That's not the guy. That's my ball. 10,000 nanites, my goodness. Okay. Going back home. Perhaps I have to build my jellyfish. Similar to the other thing I just acquired. And keep the tainted metal in a different storage. Because this is basically a... Uh, trading resource. I'll put it in here. Plop it in here. Didn't I have some poop? Oh, I had another worker brain. Would you look at that? These we can give to our friends. Decrypted user data I'll sell. The herbs is probably something I can make myself with the recipes. What's cooking good looking? Oh, right, I was making this. What, uh. Wild yeast. Turns into wild yeast. Meat flakes! Okay, that's amazing. So, uh, what was I. Oh, right, yes, I wanted to see how to build the. the orange pustule. What does it do exactly, though? Just, it just exists? Where should I put it? I don't know. <laughs> I get so much carpet. I'll put it here. It looks like a pumpkin! one is so pretty oh my god all right I'm gonna put you uh, oh god I don't know I don't know I don't know uh, I'm gonna put you probably outside I don't know where to put you you're so precious to me I'm gonna put you in this corner What can I do with it? Can I interact with it? No, it just exists. But it's gorgeous. I love this. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take a, a swift little break. And I will see you all in the next episode of No Man's Sky. Until then, thank you everybody for watching. Have fun, whatever you do. Take care of yourselves. And do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all 
next time.